This is tutorial number 42, and it covers how to create a solid assembly within SolidWorks. Now, a solid assembly is an assembly that doesn't move, and it's just an assembly of multiple parts to create one component. In this tutorial, we're going to create the TV remote. So first, let's open up a brand new assembly file. So let's click File, click New, click Assembly, click OK. Now, to start off, let's view the origin. Click View, click Origins. And the first part that we insert into this assembly, we want it to be on the origin. And this is important as if we want to put multiple assemblies together, we want to use their origins and their planes of reference to manipulate and to make them correctly. So if we make every single assembly on the origins, we can use the planes and the origins effectively in creating other assemblies. So to start off, let's click Browse, and let's open up the top part. Click Open. And for this, to put it onto the origin, you put the cursor right on the origin, and the two origins will match up. Click OK. And now we've put in our first part. Now let's get the joystick, or the button, and we'll mate it. So let's click Insert Component, click Browse, click Button, click Open, and we'll put it to the side for now. Now for the first mate, let's mate the two circles. So this circle here, and the circle of the joystick. So let's click Mate, click this circle, and we'll click this circle here. And we're going to make a concentric mate between those two. So what that means, when we click OK, is that these circles are going to be in line all the time. So you can move it up and down, side to side, but this circle is going to be inside of that circle at all times. Now let's make another mate. So let's stop this from moving side to side. So let's click this face, and let's go to the bottom. And let's click this face, and we're going to make them coincident. Click OK. And now when we look at the part, it doesn't move side to side, it just moves up and down. So let's restrict the up and down. So let's click the top face, and let's click this face. And we're going to make it coincident and click OK. And now this button's fully defined. It doesn't move in any direction. So let's click OK. And now let's insert the infrared light. So let's click Insert Component, click Browse, click Light, and click Open. And let's just put it to the side right now. And we want to insert this light into this little compartment here. So to start off, let's click this side, click Mate, and let's click this side of the remote. And we want to make it coincident. Click OK. Now let's click the top face, and click this face, and click OK. Now it can still move side to side, so we want to restrict that. So let's click this face, and this face, click OK. And now this component is fully defined. It won't move in any direction. Now let's get the bottom of the remote. So let's click OK, click Insert Component, click Browse, click bottom, click open, and let's just put this in. Now we want to make the bottom of the assembly, and we want to mate it to there. Now in this I have two holes protruding on each side so that we can make concentric mates here and here, and we can limit the movement of the controller. So let's click this circle here, click mate, and let's click the circle here. And we're going to make a concentric mate, but as you can see, it's not the right alignment, so we have to flip it and click OK. And as we only have one mated, it's going to be swiveling on that one point. So let's mate the other circle. So let's click this one. 
and the circle here. And we're going to make that concentric. Click OK. And now it doesn't move side to side, it just goes up and down. So we're going to have to mate the bottom to the top. So let's click this face, and let's click this face. And we're going to make it coincident. Click OK. And now the bottom is securely positioned and it's fully defined. Click OK. Click View. Click Origins. We'll take those away. And now we've created the TV remote fully defined. So there's no moving parts. It's just an assembly of all the parts to create one component. Click Isometric View. And that's it. And that concludes our tutorial on how to make a solid assembly within SOLIDWORKS.